Coyotes successfully to this point so avoided far. such a letdown. Over the middle, yeah. and the catch is made. Nice change of direction that time, made, making the catch is Isaiah Hill. Three receivers to the left here. Williams on second down, gives it off to Jones, cuts it up again. He's got first down yardage, lots of hats to the football, but the Coyotes aren't getting there early enough, and that's allowing him to pick up some nice chunks at a time. He had some success with two, two middle passing plays earlier in their first drive. Williams, good protection up front, does find Qdarius Jennings, and he's got the first down, forced out of bounds by Shahid Barrows. it this year is just limiting explosive plays. They've done a good job of that again here today. Mogens had tried to rip that football away, but I think Jones leans forward just far enough to get another first down. Murray State. Williams trying to go backside and it's wide open over there. Jennings out of the backfield. That's explosive inside the 10. Touchdown Murray State. The 56-yard touchdown, that's the longest play of the season allowed by this South Dakota defense. Yeah, and right there, they just lose sight again of uh, the, the running back there. For the 25 of the racers. Play action this time. Looking outside, Martins couldn't hang on. As good play over there by Justice Johnson to the Ohio Valley Conference back in 2021. And certainly doesn't appear to be Rusty in any way as he's led his team to a two and two start this year with a good frame. All right, 104 to go. Big third down here out of the backfield. There's Keandre Jones. Can't get away from the tackler. And he's going to be brought down at the 40 yard line. Down to the 35 of Murray State. And a gain of seven. Bauman up into the pocket. Now he'll tuck it and run. And he's going to be cut down a couple yards shy of that mark. Work last time, Murray State. Let's see what they do with it. Right up the middle, and Tice is. Might, oh, he might have gotten there actually with that second effort. Nah, it looks like now it looks like they marked him short. I thought the same thing initially. And I think you're right. Based on that spot, he is short by about a half a yard. Second and two. Michael Fox, the man in motion, he gets it on the jet sweep, turns it up, has the first down, just shy of midfield. Pressure coming, Bauman can't get away, and guess who? Justice Johnson. Bring in the corner blitz. They show blitz in the A-gaps with both the backers. Those guys drop out as they bring the corner off the right side. Bauman never sees him until it's too late. And Justice Johnson with a huge defensive play for Murray State. This should. Williams looking over the middle. There's Hill again. Or this time, yep, it is Hill. And he's got a first down inside the 25-yard line. 41. Williams keeps it. Steps out of one tackle and thrown out of bounds by Shaheed Barros. Caught him in the shift. Dumps it off to Tice, and he is ridden out of bounds. Nice play there by Jason Coley. Every state has all three of its timeouts remaining. South Dakota has two. As Williams, quick hitter there to Taylor Shields. There after Murray State change personnel, so they allow Blake Holden to get out there. And now Williams, under pressure, swings it out, finds his tight end. That's Cole Rusk, and he gets and two touchdowns here today. Williams on first down. Good protection up front, looking over the middle. And the catch is made. And they're going to go final today with Murray State. 38-7 to is your final.